Well, hey, everybody, I'm Paul Gross. Let's get you updated not only on the forecast, but there are a bunch of coincidences happening today with Halloween being on a Saturday. OK, that's great news. We love when Halloween falls on a Saturday night. But also tonight is the night that daylight saving time ends. So set your clocks back an hour before you go to bed tonight and then we'll be on standard time tomorrow. You get an extra hour of sleep and then we have a blue moon tonight. Now, a blue moon is the second full moon of a month, and that happens to be happening on Halloween. The last time we had a blue moon on Halloween here in Detroit was 1955. The next time it happens won't be until the year 2039. And then we, of course, have Michigan and Michigan State playing today. There's a lot going on here for a Halloween Saturday, but let's talk about the ghost of Halloween's past. The record high in Halloween, 79 degrees. That was set back in 1950. The coldest we've ever had on Halloween. The record low is 21, set back in 1988. The wettest Halloween we've ever had was an inch and a half of rain. Some of you might remember that back in 2013. And then the snowiest, our record snow on Halloween is one-tenth of an inch, set back in 1993. All right. Overnight, we had the thick cloud deck we had yesterday. That broke up, and then another batch has kind of developed late at night, but that is going to break up and move out first thing this morning, and we should all be left with plenty of sunshine during the day, and that means a dry evening for the kids as well. Evening temperatures will be in the mid-40s, so the important thing is dry. You can put a couple of layers under the costume, but the important thing is dry. All right, clouds increase after midnight, and then we have rain developing toward morning ahead of this potent cold front. Now, this front will clear the area by about 9 a.m. Once that front moves through your area, skies will quickly become partly cloudy. The rain ends, becomes partly cloudy, and then we're going to start clouding up again, and then it becomes windy, and then in the afternoon, we could have snow showers around the area, and the wind could be gusting to 40 miles per hour. Now, something else to know about tomorrow is that temperatures will fall. If you're up at like 6 a.m. and you step outside in the rain, it's going to be like 42 degrees out. By mid to late afternoon, it's going to be in the mid-30s with wind chills in the mid-20s. So temperatures will fall behind that cold front. Any snow shower activity that we have around the area should wind down Sunday night and then uh, will be uh, dry for the day on Monday. All right, so your Halloween forecast for today. Again, any early morning clouds are going to move out, becoming mostly sunny. High temperature in the upper 40s with a south wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And again, temps in the mid 40s for the kids this evening. Tomorrow, we already talked about temperatures will fall. Windy with snow showers developing in the afternoon. Monday will be a windy, cold day. It'll be dry, but it'll be cold. 47 for the high. And then take a look at this. We're going to have mostly sunny skies on Election Day with mid-50s, so that's a really nice Election Day. And then we're going to keep the sunshine and keep the low 60s all the way through next weekend. So if we can just get through the next few days here, we have a beautiful stretch of November weather headed our way.